Let's go straight across now to Maya Sharma. Maya, go ahead. Well, Vishnu, what we are hearing again, we are still waiting an official on the record comment, but what we're hearing that there has been a conviction and the three o'clock is what we're waiting for that we're actually waiting for the sentencing that I must say is not on record on camera yet from the lawyers, but that is the word that is coming out from the court at this stage that there has in fact been a conviction that it is not good news for Jailalitha. Still waiting for official confirmation to come out, for a lawyer to actually come out and tell, tell us so, but that is the indication we are getting from the court. She went into the court at 10.45, a quick verdict was expected, but certainly indications now that it's actually the sentencing that we are waiting for. It must be remembered, Vishnu, that if, of course, she is convicted in this case, the sentencing doesn't really matter in terms of her having to step down or not. Even if it's just a fine that she is subjected to, that means that she can no longer continue as Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, that she has to step down. But indications now from the court, still not on camera, still not on record, but indications now that there has in fact been a conviction in that disproportionate assets case of Jai Lalitha. At 3 o'clock, the sentences, sentencing in that case is expected. Still no details as to, of course, what will happen after that. But that is the indication that we're getting now from okay, people Maya, emerging from the court. Uh, the official uh, lawyer bite still yeah. out there. Maya, we, let me just tell you what we've heard so far. That the public prosecutor, Bhavani Singh, has said that Jai Lalita has been Bhavani convicted Singh. in the Prevention of Corruption, under the Prevention of Corruption Act, IPC 120B for criminal conspiracy. Uh, I'm just trying to get our, our, our legal correspondent, Arunachal Vaidyanathan, on the phone line. If we can just raise Vaidya to get a few more details of what this implies. But Maya, this is what I'm hearing now. But the second part of what you told me is very, very important. That contrary to what we had believed earlier on, that sentencing may not take place today. In fact, the judge has moved ahead very, very fast. Uh, he wants to go in for sentencing. And so the reason for the delay is not because the verdict has not been announced. The verdict has been pronounced. It's the sentencing process which is taking place on the very same day. Uh, assuming that all of what we are reporting now is accurate, uh, that she is, in fact, uh, being charged for criminal conspiracy, uh, and, and there is a possibility that she could be transferred to a jail even today. Well, it really depends, of course, on that sentencing. Like, as I was saying earlier, if it's just a fine, well, she still would need to step down. If it's less than a certain number of years, she could apply for bail also under those, under those sentencing. Also, if it's less than three years or so, she could also apply for bail. There is, again, unconfirmed reports that surety is being asked for in two cases, but still no details, con concrete details emerging. But what happens next, it really depends on a confirmation, of course, of that verdict and what the sentencing is. If the sentencing is just a fine or if it is less than a certain amount, she can immediately go for bail. In previous cases as well, where she has been convicted, she has approached higher courts and been acquitted as well. Her legal team will have everything in place for her to seek relief to see that she does not have to spend a night in jail. Her legal team will be in place, but certainly we are waiting now for news from that court for after 3 o'clock where indeed if what the reports we are hearing from Bhawani Singh public prosecutor saying that sentencing that conviction is done sentencing is awaited then just after three o'clock we should be able to find out what okay. it implies what it implies of course the immediate implication is that she would have to step down as chief yes.